if there is something that I always wish that uh, never to happen to anybody mm -hmm. is to be a single parent. Mm -hmm. And if it happens, at least let the father take the responsibility of the mother. It depends who is with the children. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when we are talking about the eight uh, stages of uh, human development or child development, we are talking about uh, if it's a girl child, he needs mentorship of the mother and of the father. A father figure, a mother figure. If it's a boy, same case of price. And when a child or a boy or a girl is brought up without a, a bigger father, a bigger mother, this affects them psychologically. If you want to prove that, when you go to school, you will realize that we used to sit three students uh, during our time mm -hmm. in the 90s. Uh, there's a boy, a boy, a girl. There's a girl, a girl, a boy. And mm -hmm. teachers used to do it intentionally. Mm -hmm. They just put a boy in between or a girl. Mm -hmm. And then you realize if it's a girl, she's not comfortable at all to sit in the middle of them. When the teacher is not there, he moves out. Uh, she moves out. When the teacher comes out when she's there, but she cannot concentrate. Why? Because of these developmental stages mm -hmm. from trust, mistrust. Mm -hmm. If you continue. That is one of the very, very negative effect when we brought our children up as a single father, a single mother. And if it happens as a father, let the wife give you opportunity. Go and see the children. Pray with them. Buy with them whatever you can do with them. Leave them with the mother. They know there's a father side. And if it's the father has them, let the, wife, the mother of them come and mingle with the children, talk with them, and then maybe you separate. It's possible. But all in all, you, if it, that one can't happen, you can't force. Still, you can, uh, a child can get either if it's a, a father not there, an uncle, who, a brother that okay. who can be as a, a father figure or a mother figure. The church, you know, played a very important role in the lives of children and their parents. Uh, is this still happening? If not, what has gone wrong? This one uh, is actually still happening, yes. and the church is playing a very big role mm -hmm. when it comes to family matters. But only I can urge one of our pastors, our fellow pastors, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to be encouraged as they are doing their spiritual counseling. It is good also to do the psychological counseling, part of it, just mm -hmm. uh, basic. Because uh, we have learned that, uh, and it's uh, proved that uh, this spiritual counseling only doesn't work, but it works for a short time, okay. as a short defense mechanism. Because, mm -hmm. uh, allow me in a minute to say, the reason being, I've done this in church for spiritual counseling. Maybe you are an addict of uh, drugs, mm -hmm. and then I take you the steps. I tell you drinking is evil, doing everything is for evil. But mm -hmm. when you drink, you don't see that evil. Mm -hmm. But if you, I can take you through the professional side, then mm -hmm. I take you the spiritual side, mm -hmm. I'm sure that uh, you will be able to go through all the circle and uh, someone to be set free. Um, let me just go through some of the messages that we have from our Facebook page. Julius Tway says, I'm teaching from model. We always talk about our children and motivate them, but they join others from various places. They change due to bad companies. So parents are not to blame for unrest and burning of the schools. The proposals to introduce a corporal punishment is not the solution, but something must be done. Samuel Lutato says, thank you for your input. Uh, Dr. Osoro, I admire your background. However, none of our kids today can do that and change their future life. Is the counselor allowed to cane as well? Andrew Kithuria says, parents are to blame for student indiscipline. All these teachers need to motivate the students. Good day to you. Jackie Nyamodi says, it's uh, true, in discipline cases have reason. Parents are really to be blamed. The 10 months that children were at home with parents, they couldn't be controlled just because they are pampered. Discipline starts at home before it extends outside that box, which is school. Nowadays, it's my child not anybody's child. I remember when I was growing up, anybody could discipline you if you messed up, but dare you now, it, you would be someone. <laughs> then a rocker. What the school administration um, could have done immediately after resumption was to organize therapy sessions for all students because a lot of things happened in that long holiday. Majority got into drugs, relationships, and they were not ready for school where there must be strict rules to be followed, which makes them rebel. Parents to take the lead on discipline. Thank you. Uh, maybe one of the questions about the, does the council is allowed to kill children? Yeah. Okay. They're not allowed. Mm -hmm. About talking uh, that uh, uh, 
So what happened during the long holiday? During the long holiday, mm -hmm. that's very true. The children need the therapy. At least, if possible, all of them, we can do group therapy. Mm -hmm. uh, that one will help our children. And finally, maybe there is another one say that uh, for punishment, corporal will not be the solution. And again, uh, he say that our children, uh, maybe uh, we cannot say it's the parents or who, but uh, both of us, we have a role to play as a parent. You've been listening to us on the big conversation, of course, looking at what has been happening in our schools, the violence that has been there. And thank you so much, Dr. Robert Tussoro, counseling psychologist, who has come through for us. Uh, thank you for sharing with us this Thank morning. you, Mason, for this opportunity. Thank you, the entire uh, for front of uh, KBC. Okay. Uh, my name is Millicent Arok and of course we'll have a podcast of this program on www.kbc.co.ke. You can also listen to a repeat of the same program uh, in our night runner that comes straight after midnight.